Hi, I'm Mike Heidebrink, president of Chang Concrete, here for Concrete Network. This is our outdoor living series made from Chang DFRC. Let's get to work and see how these things are made. We've finished spraying the mold with the casting blend and we've let it set for about 15-20 minutes. So at this point, we're ready to get going with the backing blend. The backing blend has a much, much stiffer consistency than the casting blend. The casting blend, if you remember, was thin enough and watery enough that it could actually be sprayed through a gun. Unlike this material, uh, the, the DFRC backing blend has got a lot more fiber. So when we blend it, it's gonna have the consistency of, of almost like clay, uh, so that make, which, which makes it easier for us to actually lay it up the wall in, in, in consistent layers where it won't slump down off the wall. So, I'm gonna get started here, but uh, before I do, just like with the casting blend, we're starting off with one gallon of the diluted activator. I also have a little additional water, up to 16 ounces, set aside over here. And the purpose of that is if I end up needing to add a little more water to wet this out, I can add it. But I, I don't necessarily need to. So here we've mixed it, and I want to check the consistency. This looks pretty good. This is about the consistency you want. You can see how full of fiber it is. Uh, there's no clumps of fiber. It's all pretty well broken up. This is the consistency that we're going to use on our form to actually build it up. Now when I first start off, I'm going to start on one of these vertical uh, sections. I'm just taking a handful kind of lightly pressing it into the form in a smearing action, okay? I don't want to press too hard or I'll press the back material through the face material. And I don't want it to be too thick or I run the risk of it peeling this material, the, the face material off the form. So I'm adding here, I don't know, it's maybe about an eighth to three sixteenths of an inch layer Remember, we're going to be building this up to one inch thick, but this first layer that I apply is going to be probably the thinnest one that I set. Okay, at this point, we want to go ahead and actually uh, finish adding our last layer to these, to these vertical surfaces. Clay's working on this wall, and it's almost built up. Um, this wall here, I've got two layers of the DFRC backing blend on this, this vertical wall. And I want to check to see how, uh, you know, how firm it is. I want this to have, you know, to be pretty firm um, so that I can rely on it to hold my next layer of, of DFRC backing blend in place. We've got about another three eighths of an inch that needs to be layered up here. And at this point, you know, I can press into the surface if I press hard enough, I'll be able to leave a fingerprint in there, but generally speaking, it's, it's a pretty firm surface. I'm going to take uh, some of my, my backing blend, and just like I did before, you know, kind of work it into the surface using firm pressure. Now, when I get up high in the mold here, I want to be very, very careful not to shake or vibrate the mold too much, because if I do, uh, this, as this material gets built up here, I've got a lot of weight that is resting on this, on the material that I placed down here. And if I get too, if I go too high, too fast, it'll, there'll be so much weight up here that it'll cause this to kind of slump down. So timing is, the, is, is of the essence here. You don't want to build it up too thick too quickly. So we kind of slow down at this point, Take our time and make sure that, uh, that we're only applying as much material as, as what's below it can handle. Okay, before we wrap this up, 
Uh, the last thing that we do on the on this green bray form when we're casting it is I need to I want to clean this surface up after I've built it to my one inch thickness. Now I want to come by come back around and actually clean this up uh, so that it's a level, consistent uh, finish. Just using a margin trowel, I'm going to lightly kind of cut the surface here. Let me get rid of any of my excess. Okay, we are going to finish uh, applying the rest of our, our back coats here uh, to fill this out on the two vertical surfaces. And then we're going to let this sit overnight before we go ahead and demold it. The instructional drawings for this Green Bray chair can be found online. I'm Mike Heidebrink with Chang Concrete. Thanks for watching.